Good morning, everyone. It's been a while. Yeah, I haven't really done much filming lately. Did a couple of a couple of winter sessions just up at Raker Lakes. Got a couple, but nothing major. All around 15, 17 pounds. Nothing to report. But I just thought I'd try and go somewhere different, try and get a bit of confidence back in back in the old methods after blanking so many times on here. But we'll never give in, we'll go again. New year, new season. Let's head down to Willows and see what we can do. I've been literally looking at a bacon sandwich here. I've just been and got me some a nice large bacon sausage and brown sauce. So I'm just gonna tuck into this bad boy before I go down. And then we'll go down, get some get some drone footage of Lake. Just to see if see we can see sort of see we can see him holding up. Might be in any little pockets of weed, that sort of stuff. But I'll go more through it down there and we'll see where we are. Right, I'm gonna tuck into this, I'll catch you soon guys. Cheers. Good afternoon everyone, bit of a nightmare, oh, big nightmare to be fair, got down here, got all set up, I got the bait boat out um, to do some mapping of the lake, both fuses are bust on the on the bait boat so we're going old school, we've got the spod rod out, we've got the leads out, just trying to find some clear spots, I've managed to find one just towards peg one, about nine and nine and a half wraps it is. Lovely bit of gravel. I'm just trying to find some more. So I'll just continue. Like I said, I found one. If I can only really find one more, it did seem like a quite a big a big spot. When I got to the got got to the far bank of it, dragged it back. Lovely and clean. So I'm just trying to find another one more. Worst case scenario, I'll put two on there. If I can find one more. I'll whack another one on there. But like I say, it is it is weed, it weeds up. It's blowing a gale as you can see. So let's try and find the spot. Don't matter how many times, guys, you have to you have to lend around. Forget what people think, it's your swim, you lend around until you're happy with the spots that you found. And it is what it is. Fucking hacking a gale in here. Just try, and, just try and feel for that donk. Just step to the side. Give it a little, give it a little feel just to see how that's sticking. That tells me it's on some low level or some good old Canadian, whatever you want to call it, weed. So if you're unsure, see that feels nice. Now see how that's, that's just, you can sort of see it rod tip just it's locked up a bit there. See that? That tells me it's on weed. If it goes like that, tonk it up, whack it up, and have another go somewhere else. Or a bit further, a bit short, a bit to the left, a bit to the right. Just until you find what it is you're looking for. And I'm looking for the fish. But it ain't coming yet. Let's go on the side a little bit. I 
watch them again. Yeah, that's just you can sort of see the tip end just look at that. Not even hesitating. Have a few more around that area. Sort of just to make sure we're happy. It's better to have an extra four, four or five, six, seven, eight casts, just that peace of mind that you're happy with the sport. Well, I'd be happy if I catch. Same again. Oh. See if I locked up now. Same again. Up we go. Go towards the big pylon. Yes. Quite nice. Go again that same. Let's, we'll clip it up, drag it back. See how we're cooking. We love Max Barrier. Question is, I don't think I can get out there with my lick all the rods. That's fucking beautiful. Beautiful. I'll put more on that. Close the pylon. Hit the clip. It's fucking. Look at that, that just crumbs back. It's beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Catch me a fish, catch me a fish. Now we'll still break anyway. It's good. Why? Hit the clip. Ooh. Look at that. That'd be not Rocky Road. It's Rocky Road show. So once you have found a good spot, you have clipped it up, you're happy with it. You've gone over it as many times as you want to. Like I say, your swim. You do what you want with it. Um, get this, get the old distance sticks out. 
put it down, wrap it up, see how many we've got, whack it in your notes, and away we go. And here's the old Scottish Nicholas. That Nicky boy. <laughs> yes. Aye. That one out there. Towards. Oh, I feel this. You found one? Oh, difference, mate. So I've got one out there towards peg one. Exactly the same as this you're going to feel. Nine and a half wraps. So it's only in, in midway. But I'm guessing it's really shallow because by the time it hits the clip and you've got to feel it. You can't really feel that dunk. But you drag it back and it's literally like dragging the lead along here. I'll put, I'll put it on spot and then... Did you go smooth or not? Oh, that was... Go smooth. No. See, I always think when it goes smooth, is that just dragging through the the weed or the silt? Or and that's where that led on as well. So that's going to feel every little every little nut and cranny, the old graffler lead. Yeah. Hit the clip. There we go. Right. I'll put that there, mate. And you'll, you'll drag that back and feel it. Oh, Isn't it? Yeah, rattly, rattly. It's like the Rocky Road show, isn't it? Yeah. Well, good morning. Bit of a crazy evening last night. Had to nip off, get a couple of fuses for the boat. Managed to get some. Um, well, testing the boat for a, an hour or so, and that's all back up and running, thank God for that. So sending it back for repair. But, yeah, so got all the rods back on, back on the spots late last night. And just chilled out at a few beers with a father-in-law, Mr Nicholas. Um, nothing to report through the night, quiet, a couple of bleeps here and there, but nothing much. So yeah, I'm just gonna have some breakfast. Nicky boys, he's had, he had, he had a run, he had a run early this morning, but that snapped him off. But the bailiff did tell us that because the muscles are high up in the weed, it can snap him off, so be a bit wary of that. So that's what happened to him. Um, so he ended up putting a fluorocarbon leader on about five meters, six meters of it, just to give him that extra little bit of resistance. Put that on exactly the same spot, within an hour and a half being in water, went off got it in it's a nice fish I think it weighed 23 or 24 pound I'll attach a picture to this after this you can have a little look beautiful so hopefully we can bag a few more well I can anyway now we'll keep going keep trying so I'm just gonna make some breakfast have a cuppa yeah have a little look get ready for the game this after well yeah early kickoff so half 12 and see where we go but I'll report back in a bit later on see how we're going let you know if there's any more fish out. Welcome back people, nothing to report, well other than we got the boat fixed, that's all good to go, it's all been going, managed to get out into the middle of the lake, into a nice shallow area, so yeah hopefully time will tell, I've had the drone up, flown the drone up, now it's now the sun comes out, ripples have run down a little bit so sort of seems inefficient in the area, um, and typical, there's not one fish in my swim, but I've Flew it up, flew it further down the lake, middle of the lake, and there's a literally a shoal of fish, 20, 40 fish, all huddled in one area. I guess they're just basking, enjoying the sunshine, but, so I'm just hoping, all three rods are set, all presented, so 
just gets sitting on his hands, ho hoping. When the sun goes down, obviously go for a mulch around, see what's happening, and hope to come across my three beauties. Nicky boy's not had no either. Um, so yeah, not a lot to report back really. Just enjoying the sun. Total different day compared to yesterday. So yeah, uh, anything else to report guys, I'll let you know. Well, welcome back people. Just thought I'd give you a little update, a little summary of how today has gone. Not good. <laughs> now, we know it's going to be like that. After seeing all them fish held up, um, just sat there. I mean, after I took them pictures that I attached, I took the drone over just before the sun started coming down and they're still just sat in the same spot. So like I said earlier, hopefully they'll come round. We shall see. Um, everything's like I said, everything's prepped, everything's sorted. Just for that morning time back now, hopefully. But yeah, just gonna sit back, enjoy the sun go down, have a few beers, wait for Nicky Boy to come round. And yeah, hopefully we've got something in the morning. But I'll come back to it in the morning. See see how we go, see what see what sort of night we'll probably uneventful, but we shall see. See you soon. Good morning. Nice and fresh this morning. No fish. Yeah, been a bit of a bummer this session. Um, really seeing all them fish held up further in the middle of the lake. It's really been a bit of an eye opener. Just had to sit on my hands, nothing I can do. I'd love to remove pegs up there, but lake's really busy, rammed. There's two other pegs that are available but they're up nowhere near up near where the fish were so I'd just be in that same position anyway otherwise I'd have happily packed up gone on them <clears throat> see if we could nick one that way but no it's it's what it is it's one of them things if you're not on them you can't catch them no matter what you do how much bait you put in it's pointless just throwing a load out because yeah they're not there they're not there but no, we'll come again. Probably going to come again in the next four, four or five weeks. Um, but yeah, just going to start packing down slowly already. So I've just got the rods net to bring in, slings. A bit of a foggy one this morning. Just started to clear now. But no, it's been a pleasure, learning a lot. <coughs> What it's all about when you come to places like this. Not easy waters. Yeah, you just got to try and learn each individual swim, activity, movement. Just keep writing it down, jot it down, and eventually they will come. Yeah, just gotta keep going. Keep going. I'm quite happy that Nick caught one because uh, it just shows that the tactics that we're doing, the methods, the rigs, the bait, all that sort of stuff is the right stuff because they both sort of use the same anyway. Um, so it's it's good to know that the fundamentals are working. But yeah, just wasn't meant to be this time. But no, come again in June. And yeah, we'll send another video out then, see how we get on. Hopefully we can get another couple more. Mm -hmm.